if you have to be an actor a public figure yeah. you have to let that go and you have to stop thinking what the world is thinking about you mujhe ye pata tha ki mujhe koi launch nahi karne wala mujhe khud hi launch hona hai kuch karna hai my career path was set because of wiki donor because that was the first taboo subject i dealt with yes and i have carried it forward with other films i can switch off and switch on very easily like if the cameras are off i am i am myself because i am not a public i don't think i'm a public figure Why would I, you I don't that? want to believe that even if i am khud kon bolta hai when i hello everyone my name is aina my guest today has not just stolen hearts but has served us with some amazing performances for 10 whole years joining me in a conversation is none other than ayushman khurana Hi. Hi, Aina. This Hi. this this place is full of Ainas right now. So, so many mirrors. But yeah, ten whole years. <laughs> yeah, it's a decade. It's a roller coaster ride, of course. Yeah. From twenties to thirties now, so it's beautiful. And, and I want to congratulate you for completing ten whole years uh, and serving the industry. Maybe performances we wouldn't have seen, stories we wouldn't have seen. So thank you so much for that. Thank you so much. It's a yeah. great validation. Thank you. And uh, you know, I want to start off by actually telling you this one thing. There's this one line you've always said, and it's hit me personally very hard. That uh, just because you're famous doesn't mean you're successful. Fame is a byproduct of success. When you look back at your journey, at what point did you feel that yes, I'm successful today? I think when I became a radio presenter. Yeah. Uh, that was the first job. I was 22 that time, mm-hmm. and the, I, I think I was the highest paid RJ that time in my. Uh, in my office and my yeah. in my studio, and at 22 it was a great feat for me. I think mm. that then I realized that I've become successful. Um, mm. Yeah, but before that I was a reality show contestant. A lot of people who are in reality shows they think they've become successful, but yeah. you're just famous. After getting my first job, I realized okay, now I am towards success, or maybe I felt I was successful. Do you feel complacent or satisfied anywhere? Never. I think if you are complacent or laid back or satisfied, that's the end of the road for you. I still have the excitement of the first film. When I approach a new film, a new character, I feel like it's my first film. So I get the butterflies in my stomach when I'm on set on day one. Yeah. It happened recently with Action Hero. So it was a new genre for me, and I was just like, it was. I felt it was like a first film. So it was. It's always there. You know, you've always mentioned how your father has played such a huge role in your career. He's always pushed you, always inculcated that ambition inside you. What are your conversations with him at this point and at this stage in your life? He has this amazing intuition or gut. He's also an astrologer, so yeah. I don't know. Whenever he watches my film, he just predicts that yeah. this is going to happen. This is going to happen. So I don't share the scripts with him. because i want to go with my own gut and intuition right but of course he comes for the premieres and the screenings then he gives me the correct this thing he's also very critical about me so it's fine he's always been like that he's always been a hard task master and mm. uh, he was the one who pushed me and yeah. that's why i'm here in bombay and and successful because of him but are you also critical about yourself i used to be no i'm not not now not now i used to be really critical during my initial years um, as a as an rj or as a television presenter But real, then I realized that you need to let go. You need to be happy as an artist. Like if you are too critical, then you cannot be because there is no, uh, I don't know, there is no limit to perfection. Yeah. Like you're always craving for that. So you are always craving for that. So you are always craving for that. So you are always craving for that. So I think there has to be some imperfection so mm. that it looks natural and yeah. it's okay to fumble in between because you are normally when you are saying you are fumbling. So if you fumble in between, then just go for it. So I think I've 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 become more natural than before over the years. become more natural than before over the years. They say that you should never take yourself too seriously. Also, it's I used to same. take myself very seriously initially. How did that change? I think it's probably when you're a teenager, hmm. everything just blows up in front of you. You you take everything you image so seriously. You think the world is watching you, yeah. you know, and you're so conscious about your image as a teenager. Because I started young. I was a teenager when I was uh, in pop stars, a reality show. Yeah. I was twenty, uh, almost a teenager in roadies. Yeah. So I think that's the time you're taking yourself too seriously. If you have to be an actor, a public figure, yeah. you have to let that go, and you have to stop thinking what the world is thinking about you, and you have to just focus on yourself, on self improvement or evolution. 
tell me one thing you did tv you did reality show you did a uh, radio according to the bollywood fraternity this is not the ideal formula but you broke all those stereotypes and you still a bollywood star today mm. did you get a lot of advices like that that ye mat karo wo mat karo and how did you still follow your gut yeah, mujhe ye pata tha ki mujhe koi launch nahi karne wala <laughs> मुझे खुद ही लॉन्च होना है कुछ करना है एंड आई हैड टू ट्रेड दैट पाथ वो मुझे नीचे से ही उठना था आई स्टार्टेड जर्नलिज्म यू स्टार्टेड मास कॉम राइट सो आई वाज आई स्टार्टेड मास कॉम एंड देन डिड रेडियो देन टेलीविजन सो आई हैड टू पेव दैट पाथ एंड ऑलवेज थॉट दैट जो मैं कर रहा हूँ उसमें बेस्ट करूंगा सो आई रिमेंबर माई आई वॉज द यंगेस्ट टू बी अ ब्रेकफस्ट जॉक वेन आउस ट्वेंटी टू उन्होंने मुझे ब्रेकफस्ट जॉक शो दे दिया था so it was a big thing for me normally yeah. that position is for very experienced trade jockeys yeah so i was doing pretty well over there then i came to uh, bombay and did a lot of reality shows as presenter mm. so i hosted india's got talent i hosted a uh, lot of shows on mtv mm. so i was doing pretty well so jo bhi kar rahe ho usme best karo so if you're doing like giving your best then of course people will notice you and give a chance in films and mm. by default every uh, vj back in the day they used to get a chance in films So then I thought that I should just make the correct choice yeah. because I was getting a lot of offers. I rejected six films before signing Vicky Donor. Yes. So yeah, so that was a well thought out process. Which actually gets me to my next question. If you rejected six films before Vicky Donor, now anyone who wants to debut in Bollywood be like, I want a larger than life hero film. When a script like Vicky Donor comes your way, how did you decide that this is going to be my Bollywood debut? I think the script was beautiful. and i really believe in shojit sarkar i yeah. watched his previous films there was this film called shoe bite which never released with mm. amitabh bachchan i saw it in the edit it was beautiful also mm. uh, yaha another film of his got a national award so mm. i i was like i am incredible hands this yeah. subject could be like uh, would go haywire if it was with some other director yeah. but shojit sarkar was a pioneer he started doing these films yeah. my career path was set because of vicky donor because that was the first taboo subject i dealt with yes and i carried it forward with other films so he set the tone right for me and before that all those six films never saw the light of the day because i always knew as like as a presenter like mm. somebody who's asking questions to an actor yeah. i could learn from the mistakes of the other person you know yeah. so i was interviewing a lot of stars who were making good choices bad choices and i gauged that the choice is very important especially for me that nobody's going to launch me तो मेरी mm. पहली फिल्म अच्छी होनी चाहिए नहीं तो दूसरी फिल्म मुझे कभी मिलेगी नहीं सो दैट्स व्हाट आई थॉट अबाउट सो आई वेटेड एंड आई एम ग्लैड वी कैन नो हैपेंड हाउ डिड यू हैपन टू गेट इन टच विद वायरएफ एंड नाउ योर अ वायरएफ टैलेंट हाउ डिड आदि चोपड़ा कम योर वे इट हैपेंड विद बेवकूफिया ओके या दैट वाज द फर्स्ट फिल्म विद वायरएफ या एंड आई सिंपली डिड दैट फिल्म टू बी इन वायरएफ सो एंड देन आदि ऑफर्ड मी दम लगा के आयशा व्हिच आई वाज रियली एक्साइटेड अबाउट Yeah. So I think that changed everything for me after Vicky Donor. And you know you've also played such intrinsic roles of getting into the skin of the character over so many years. Did you ever feel like you've lost yourself or a sense of what you are? Because that can happen naturally. Yeah. You might not recognize yourself or know who you actually are. Does that ever happen to you? It really depends on how you take it. I am I used to be a method actor when I was doing theater. Hmm. but when i became a film actor when i started hosting then i thought i became more natural mm-hmm. and instead of you know getting overwhelmed by the character mm-hmm. i used to give something to the character mm-hmm. i never took the character back home i mm-hmm. can switch off and switch on very easily like if the cameras are off i am i am myself there are probably there's one film article 15 which really affected me because that's the only dark film i've done yeah. the theme was very dark mm-hmm. and i read a lot about b r ambedkar and also casteism and everything yeah. that affected me but apart from that most of the films are light hearted and uh, you know the narrative was very soft hmm. that's how i want to present the stories could be a heart hitting subject but the narrative has to be soft and light so that people consume it easily and you know being a common man being uh, from a common family where you don't have a filmy background then suddenly not only you but even the family is a star family is it as glamorous as it looks i don't think so I think it it really depends on you in fact. If you want to keep it simple and easy, if you can be like that. Yeah. You don't have to really, you know, overwhelm yourself with your success or get bogged down by your failures. Yeah. Just be normal in all circumstances. It it's easier said than done. Yeah. But that's how you should you should try to do that basically. 
that actually reminds me so even uh, an- another anecdote we were discussing even sukriti uh, yeah. taught me and okay. uh, i used not attend a lot of college back then but you know my friends used to tell me like she always mentioned about how humble and close you and rocha kohli are mm. and you all have created some amazing music but this relationship goes back in time before even you yeah. became a bollywood star so for relationships like tahiral rochak these are very real yeah. does that affect when you know there comes so much stardom does anything about the relationship I've get affected i want to that i think after my first film i have i was all over the place it was not easy to digest that fame yeah but i think after 6 months 7 months i realized that it's that you have to give time to your friends and family yeah. though i still try my best to just strike that balance but it's difficult i'm glad i saw failure in initial years of my career yeah. uh, after my first film i realized my true friends were there always with me like you said vicky donor went really well but at the same time things were going haywire in your personal mm. life at the same time when uh, you had your first opening for badai ho uh, yeah. tahera was going through her chemo so yeah. did you find it difficult to attain happiness from one place because there was always a level of happening yeah. in your life uh, that always no you happens. can't completely enjoy yeah, one yeah, part yeah. i think it happens with everyone you cannot mm-hmm. have like everything in life Yeah. there has to be some deterrent there has to be some negative which balances out but that's why i said that you have to be as normal as possible because nothing is lasting forever and and universe automatically levels everything up for you because if if you see somebody who's very successful professionally personally probably that person is not doing well somebody is doing great personally professionally that mm. person may suffer so i think it's 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 very difficult to attain that equilibrium yeah. it's not easy also you're very known for uh, you know choosing the right scripts how do you go, do you go with your gut do you go with ye commercially kaam karega ya nahi what's your formula for choosing the right script the formula okay i think it it may change every 2 3 years because people are ever evolving yeah you know but at the same time you need to give something to people and being a risk taker um, has always been part of my dna and with my first film mm-hmm. so my entire career has been built because of risks that right. will always happen so it has to be like first of first it has to be like a first attempt in hindi cinema the script it has to be novel plotter breaking and uh, and somewhere in between hmm. uh, as in it should be palatable to common man also at the same time right. it cannot be too intellectual or too high brow so that the audiences are should not be split hmm. it should be understandable easily graspable to everyone otherwise there is no point of making that film if you want to make a social change it has to be simplistic you know there was a phase where you gave like 6 to 7 hits in a row after the fourth hit were you scared ki fifth wali flop hogi to kya <laughs> like you know you don't know that you know all you always scared every friday is like the the results are coming out of a board exam or something yeah. so you always get those butterflies but again it's it's very transitory you know i do three films a year yeah so i don't know it just passes it's this present it goes and the, then you focus on the next film i am very detached like that every film is different of course you attach to a film when you're working on a project hmm. but when the film is releasing then you are mentally on some other film because you are playing with some other character yeah. you know yeah. so it it happens like that with me it happens like that it's good to be detached otherwise you'll be you'll be consuming yourself too much were you always like this no like- i wasn't Oh, you've made yourself yeah, like yeah, that with yeah. time, and you know so much has changed in ten years. Like you say, you've evolved so much as a person. What's that one thing, according to you, that has stayed the same no matter which year it is or how old you've been? I think the core has to be the same. The vulnerability of of a small town guy has mm. to be the same because these are the subjects I've uh, I've really worked on over yeah. the years, and I've connected with people. Yeah. If, if that connect is lost, then you are lost. So I guess you have to maintain that inquisitivity or the vulnerability of of a common man. That's very important. Also, you know your Instagram, you have 15 million plus followers, but your bio says not a public figure. Why? Because I am not a public. I don't think I'm a public figure. Why? Would I, you I say don't that? want to believe that, even if I am. I, it's for my own sanity. I also want to write work in progress because I'm ever evolving, ever learning. and i still have to learn a lot yeah so there there's no pressure for being a public figure which is your favorite performance of yours till date if you could pick one two of them article 15 and another right i think those ones were like breaking the mold of my staple genre yeah that's why and now a nick will be coming up again that's a, a the look is crazy it's so good like i love you. that i love the hair. thank you yeah so yeah uh, 
these films and lastly you've been shooting for action hero you've completed one uh, schedule in london this is the first time you're shooting overseas yeah. how was the experience for that it was great because i've only shot once during uh, the climax of andadun in poland yeah yeah this is the first time shooting almost the 70% of the film overseas so it's exciting but more than that i i've never thought like that because in previous interviews i've al- always maintained that mai kabhi haridwar se aage nahi gaya shoot karne wale but it's all about the story it doesn't matter where you shoot yeah this is also a very quirky action film so it's it's interesting but you know directors are collaborating with you again sujit sarkar uh, anand el rai you doing anubhav sinha's film as well why do you think the directors uh, you know collaborate with you because i'm a nice guy <laughs> <laughs> No. I'm easy to work with. I'm chilled, <laughs> so they don't suffer. Yeah. So they guys, with that, so calm, करना चाहिए फिर से. So maybe like that. It's not the talent; it's the niceness which works. I agree. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. the takeaway to be the nice person in the end. खुद कौन बोलता है वो nice? So with that, thank you so much. Thank you, Aina. Um, thank you. I just want to say that was great talking to you and yeah. uh, I can't wait for some more taboo breaking and amazing films that's coming out. No, I can't. Me yeah. how to show sab kuch bacha nahi hai lekin <laughs> social issues se ab aage bhi hum ja rahe hain like action hero mein koi social issue nahi hai. Yeah. Aage aane wali filmon mein bhi shayad nahi hai. Acha so another abhi side ki hai par usme bhi social issue nahi hai. Sab ne chhod diya maine ab. Ha. Abhi na commercial movies. Oh commercial bhi hai but kuch na kuch alag alag hai. Alag hai. Ha alag hai. Can't wait to watch that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hi, this is Aishman Khurana. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe to Pink Villa.